<laughs> Damn, Valve is just shooting themselves in the fucking foot right now. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know how this is going to end. I don't know if this is going to be a good thing in the end, bad thing in the end. I think it's more like fucking going to be a bad thing. Considering that there's no police state on fucking Steam, or at least I don't think they're improving that shit. Uh, but you know how every early access developer out there, uh, you have early access developers uh, who just take... Unity assets, slap them on there and sell them as a new game. Oh, yeah. You know, the next zombie apocalypse game's coming out. Survival. We could survive. Oh, where's that been done before? Oh, hey, Daisy. You want a Daisy ripoff? Here, buy this one. Buy that one. And they're all fucking early access. You get what I'm fucking saying here? Steam or Valve just added more to that fucking problem. Let me explain. So, we all do know that these there's out of these people that do like to put early access Steam games out, there are some that just want to scam you out of your money. So, Steam has decided to add a new item store feature. So, an additional so in addition to the player driven community Developers can now run their own stores. Yes, developers. Yeah, you see where this is going, right? <clears throat> where they set their own fixed prices. Rust is the first game to take advantage of this. Rust, the game, the survival zombie game by Gary Newman. Uh, the one that's still in early access that I played for maybe about two to three months and then got burnt out about it. Yeah. That's the first game that's going to have these fucking microtransaction things. Yup, I shit you not. This is the new stage where microtransactions sweep onto PC games. I mean, I, mean, I guess it's not a surprise, but this isn't going to go well. I just don't know how this is going to go because I, I don't want to jump to conclusions because I can see some benefits to it. Like if... But I don't know. I, I don't know if I can see any benefits to it. I don't know what to expect. See, I'm not that kind of guy who can easily predict what's going to happen, think about it for a day or two, let my mind sit on it, and then come back to you guys and tell you everything, you know, right off the top of my head. I can't do that. So in this case, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. But I can just tell you this. It doesn't look like this thing is going to go anywhere in a good way. And I'm looking at the comments here uh, because this was a short article and I want to make the video a tad bit longer. Uh, I'm looking at the comments here and some of them are actually kind of funny. One guy says, Valve should rename Steam to Bazaar with the tag Community Driven and Zero Oversight. Because that's what seems to be where they're trying to go. Zero effort for Valve, but tons of source of new income for them. Seriously, it's like every new addition to Steam is just another half-ass money-making scheme by Valve. What could possibly go wrong with a developer control market? Hmm. I don't buy or sell much in the community, but I can see these frustrating active users in the community market. Uh, maybe slightly, but it all do is bringing back an in-game store outside of the game. Um... Having sell prices inside a game are no different than having them outside. I kind of see where that's going at. <clears throat> it's just... <clears throat> I guess... The thing that... Me and a couple other people are worried about... Are these... Early access developers that... Half-ass their games or not even make a game... And just resell Unity assets... Are going to take this opportunity to make more money or try to scam other people so thank fucking god we have jim fucking sterling to uh, guide us to the right direction of where um what is a bad purchase decision versus a good one you get what i'm saying right but yeah that's basically all I have to say for this. I um, 
I know uh, Jim Sterling's going to have a lot to complain about this. I, I just have a fucking big feeling about it. But uh, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. So, I'm looking at the prices for the uh, items in the Rust Early Access Store, and $2.49 for a red shiny pistol. Yeah. Or get a sleeping bag for four ninety nine. It's a wooden camo one. What a fucking ripoff.